Welcome back to another video and today we are talking about artificial intelligence. Specifically, we're going to see if we can teach these saucepans, which certainly can be considered artificial, to navigate this maze. This maze. I've laid out the saucepans in the shape of the maze and into each I have put four sweets. A jelly baby, a fruit pastel, a jelly bean and a mint imperial. And we've got plenty spare. And whenever someone lands on a particular cell in the maze, they'll close their eyes and reach into a saucepan and pull out a sweet. And if it is a mint imperial, they will go north. If it's a jelly bean, they'll go south. If it's a fruit pastel, they will go west. And if it is a jelly baby, they will go east. And the choices that are made are lifted out and set to the side so that we can reward the most successful choices. Now, when it comes to judging success, this is a big problem. This is the biggest problem in artificial intelligence research. And this is why a lot of progress has been made recently using computer games. Because computer games have a very good fitness function. And a fitness function just means a way of measuring how good a particular run is. So whenever you play a computer game, if you get a score of 10, that's better than a score of 5. So you know from that fitness function, 10 is better than 5, but it's not as good as 15. Now with the maze, it's more difficult to come up with a fitness function. You could use distance as the crow flies from the end result. But that will go wrong. For instance, with this maze, you could be very close to the end square, but nowhere near winning the maze. Alternatively, you could count the number of squares to reach the end. And that's what we're going to do here. And that might not work with a more complicated maze. Now, what we want to do is have our saucepan system play against itself and learn from playing against itself. So what I've got over here is some cereal bowls and we will set up the cereal bowls in the same arrangement and we will give the cereal bowls the same sweets. Don't worry, I'm sure no one will miss them. Okay, we've now got two systems. We will play the saucepans and see how far we get. Then we will play the cereal bowls and see how far we get. And whichever one wins, all of the sweets that we lifted out, we will reward the winning system by giving them an extra sweet of that type. Then we will recreate the same pattern of sweets in the losing system and go again. And at the start, before each run, we will introduce some random mutations into one of the systems just by throwing a few sweets in at random. And we will continue until we run out of sweets. system. So we want to see if we can get from here to there and Mint Imperial is north, Jelly Bean is south, Fruit Pastel is west and Jelly Baby is east. Let's go. It's difficult to do this and not cheat. We've got a Jelly Baby, right. Oh, I can't see this one. It's a Jelly Baby. This one's 
was mostly jelly beans, so we should be okay. Oh, I two by accident, but they were both jelly beans. Mint Imperial. So close. Jelly beans. Jelly bean. Jelly bean. So we're going south. Now all we need is east. For pastel. West. 